James says, I'm looking for help and support. I am a Mac user, a Mac Pro 2020, uh, utilizing SharePoint and OneDrive. It stopped working at the weekend, and I had to unlink it and set it up again, but it's now looking weird and is not syncing. <laughs> looking weird? <laughs> well, it's because That's... you're looking at it through the Mac interface. Of course it's going to look weird. <laughs> yeah, duh. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting to me that he had to unlink it and set it mm -hmm. up again. So I'm assuming that that means that the only way that this person is accessing his SharePoint or OneDrive files is through the sync mechanism, um, which is an option. You can always sync if you have problems, you do. You unsync it, stop the sync and resync, no problem. Um, or you could simply go to the browser and even on a Mac, it works much better and much more intuitively. So typically I recommend my Mac people, um, if you're having any struggles with the client applications, go to the browser. Um, the browser just works phenomenally. And on top of that, a lot of the new features are headed to the browser app. So it's kind of a bonus on top of it. What well, do you do? What do you, I got a question on that, Sharon, is what do you do when you need the offline files though? When you need them to be offline, you yeah. can still you can still um, sync them to a MacBook to through a the, Mac device through the web through the web. No, you have to have the client, correct? You have to have the sync client running. Yeah, you're going to use yeah. the OneDrive yeah. sync client the same way. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so if you're having problems and that you won't have that functionality, but that's, I was also going to add on to that, that it's, uh, if you're having issues because it's not unheard of for the, the service to actually be having problems. One of those surefire ways of checking that is to go and see, can you get into OneDrive via the web, uh, through the, mm -hmm. the browser and see if there's something else that's going on, um, you know, maybe it's a permissions issues. There's something wrong with your wrong with your profile that's that's messed up. So usually, I'll say with the end users, the very first thing, if you seems to be having some issues, is go back to the to the document repository or wherever it is that you originally started from, and press the sync button again, just in case something has gone on, and you just kind of do a bit of a reconnect. And then I've seen it then sync without doing that because when you do the unlink they see the unlink and it's often leaving mm -hmm. the files on the device and then they're trying to delete the files and they're going this they're going to do it then go into the onedrive sync client unsync the folders like literally go through choose folders and tick them off to pull them off first then do the disconnect if you're going to and then go back online and reconnect but i always go before you go through all that just go online click sync first and see if that actually resolves it in terms of just bringing that connection back if something's gone on um, and then go through those next steps first. Yeah. Is there any guidance also on uh, when you're talking about like the, uh, the, the offline access and how many uh, items, how many folders, are there limitations or there best practices for how many that you click on and try and sync at one time and. As few mm -hmm. as possible. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what I've learned. That's that's why I'm asking <laughs> yeah. that question. In fact, yeah. Yeah. so there's a couple of tips around that. Um, when you sync, um, you can go to the files that you're syncing and you can actually do two things. There's one that says clear up space um, mm -hmm. and that'll actually remove any of your downloaded files from your machine, but leave you connected to your library. Um, and the other thing is you can actually choose certain ones to keep offline all the time so that like if you have a specific file that you don't want to go back to the cloud, you want to keep it where you can access it on your computer. It'll actually always make sure that you have a fresh copy on your computer. So it's really good to select what you're going to work with, sync to it, use it. And then if you're not going to be using those files for a long time or don't know that you're going to go back to them, then maybe stop syncing that particular um, library or folder or whatever, because you don't want to maintain those syncs any longer than you have to. Yeah, and I mean, how many files do you sync as well? Like if you've got, if, if it's particularly big, one, you have to be careful on your device, how many files you actually have on it and that you're trying to have offline. So if you're trying to take everything so that it's, you know, keep it on this device, then you're going to start having some issues as to how many you can ultimately have. Um, you know, and if the if it's going to contain sort of more than a hundred thousand, um, then you start to 
you sort of go, okay, well, how many files do you really want to be syncing before it starts to max out and it doesn't like it as a, as a client? Yep. <laughs> <laughs>